hello everyone welcome back to our channel it feels like so long since i've filmed any sort of video so for anyone new that's watching my name's leanne i live in derbyshire with my husband and our eight children and we are currently expecting baby number nine which is due in just a few short weeks now so we've just been super busy trying to get our house sorted and i'm at that stage now where I get out of breath a lot so i've just not had the time or the energy to film any videos but today i thought i would film a haul it's going to be like a home decor haul so a few videos ago we filmed a plans and goals for 2024 video so if you've not seen that one of our plans and goals was to completely redecorate or renovate three rooms in our house by the end of April before our baby's due. We have done the downstairs toilet. It's just waiting the finishing touches and accessories. My partner's been nagging at me to do this haul because the bits he needs to put up and that are in this haul. We've also been decorating our bedroom. You can see a sneak peek behind me because I'm in here now. And we're just moving on to our front room now. So that would be all three rooms done. So over the last, I'd say, three months, I've been collecting various bits and pieces of home decor for those three rooms. Um, I've been all over the place. So I've been to the range, next, Matalan, Home Sense, Marks and Spencers. Um... I think there's some bits from Asda as well. So let's get into the video. As I say, it's going to be a huge homeware haul and I've kind of broken it down into sections of like rooms. Um, some of the bits I can't remember the prices for, but if there's anything you're interested in, I'll link it and then I'll tell you where everything's from as we go along. So, <clears throat> I'm going to start with the downstairs toilet. So, from Asda, I picked up this gorgeous bowl. It's kind of like a shell. And I thought, that's gorgeous. I think this was only around £10 and it's really good quality. So, I got that from Asda. Also from Asda was this little ornament. I think it's like a little coral maybe. I think it was around £5. So this one's from Asda. And then also from Asda. This is from the Stacey Solomon range, I think. It's like a sea urchin little ornament. Um, I'm not really going with any particular theme. I just thought those three pieces would look really nice. And then from next, I picked up this hand soap dispenser. I loved how it had this rib detail in. This was from next and it was £12. It's in a gorgeous stone colour and it's really good quality. Also from next, I picked up a toilet roll holder and the matching towel ring. So this is the toilet roll holder. It's from the Alina range and it was £14. I love how it's got the gold but also neutral and this like wood effects because I'm quite enjoying like mixed metals and materials. So as I said, I did also get the towering to go with that as well. I'm not sure how much that was because the price I think it's been ripped off but I think it was around £14 as well. So that just looks like this, exactly the same as the toilet roll holder. And then obviously you just hang your towel through 
there. So I thought they were really cute and different from Next. And then from HomeSense, I picked up this gorgeous tray. It's got a beautiful design. It's kind of like a light wood effect. It's not wood at all. In fact, it's like pot or porcelain. It was $9.99. <clears throat> really love the design on this. So I think I'm going to put that in the toilet window with like the hand wash on it and maybe something here, like a candle for show. I'm not quite sure yet, but I can't wait to put all the accessories up in there. As I say, I've been waiting to film a haul and now I've finally got around to doing it, I can actually put everything out. And then also from Next, I picked up this bath mat. Now, <clears throat> I was gonna put this down in the downstairs toilet just to make it more cozy. However, it is quite a large bath mat and the flooring we've put down is so beautiful. I feel like I don't want to cover it up. So I may just save this until we do the bathroom upstairs. So this is a bubble bath mat in mink brown from Next and it was £10. It's really soft. Love that. And then from m and I picked up two of these hand towels. They were £6 each. It's a luxury Egyptian cotton hand towel. Uh, not quite sure what shade it's in, but it's in this gorgeous beige. So I got two of these for downstairs. And then also from HomeSense, I got this cute little plant pot. It's kind of white, but the detailing around the edges has got this like beige colour to it. And that was only £2.49. I've got another one of these that I'm going to put in another room. And then from the range, I picked up this candle. It just says seashells fragrance candle. It's kind of like a white company dupe, but it's not really very strong. So I just got that to add to the toilet. And then finally for the bathroom, picked up this tray from the range. I think it was about four ninety nine, and I just think it looks really cute with a couple of bits stirred up on it, and then maybe the candle as well i'm not sure about that one or i might add a diffuser as well so that's my bathroom items <coughs> and then moving on so the next room we decorated was our bedroom so bits and pieces i've brought for there first of all was this gorgeous cushion from m &S. it was £19, it's beige and it's got this beautiful white patterning, really nice quality, I think it's actually linen, so that will be going on my bed once I finally dress it. And then also from m &S, I picked up this beautiful scalloped tray in seagrass it was 18 pounds i love the little handles thought that would look really cute on our drawers with some bits and pieces in or maybe just on our bed with some bits in as like a statement piece so that's from m s then from asda i got this diffuser it's the Parisian Violet, it's gold, which is the metal I'm going to be using in our room. And I think that one was £10 from Asda. And then from next, I picked this gorgeous vase up. I did pick another one up from m and for our bedroom, and I wanted it in the window. But the vase is quite wide. It 
didn't look quite right, right on our windowsill so I've got this one instead and I'll pop the M&S one downstairs it's this beautiful like floral patterning and I think this was around 20 to 25 pounds from next so I'm going to put that in the window and add a few nice stems once I find some that look realistic and then from HomeSense I picked up this candle it's a five wick candle blooming mandarin and it smells really florally it was £12.99 again it's in this gold detailing and I thought that would look really nice on the drawers all lit up and it's a really good size and then sticking with incense I got a candle this is natural home fresh lilac with a cotton wick so this smells to me like hyacinths and it was £8.99 it's kind of in this really muted pale purple because I do want to add tiny little touches of lilac-y purple to our room but not too much just a little bit of subtleness which carries on with this so I picked this frame up also from Home Sense for £19.99 it's kind of like a gold frame box frame and inside it's got this very pale I think it's like agate slice with gold all around the edge and I thought that's gorgeous and just as I said I want to add a little bit of like colouring the pale lilacs and I thought that would go really really well and then from Tesco I picked this stunning oil burner or wax melt burner it's got a flower on the top it's quite chunky and wide and that was only five pounds so I thought that was the right bargain and I love the top of it from Dunelm I picked up this hurricane vase it's really beautiful actually it's got like bubble effect inside but also gold and I love the gold around the rim again this is for our bedroom it was £10 and I thought it looked really nice with like a candle inside this one's slightly too big so I need a smaller one but that will again look lovely on one of our sides and then new bedding pick this up from HomeSense for £20, £29.99 it's a king size one it's called Cooper and Grey Luxury Bed Linen 200 thread can and I love that it's got this really subtle beautiful natural detailing on it's really soft and I can't wait to finally be able to put that one on and then I've got a matching sheet to go with that, a matching fitted sheet. And then <clears throat> I picked this up from H&M Home. Thought it was very similar to the top of this. Again, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to use it for. But I may use it for like a candle or something. It's really pretty it was 6 99 from H&M Home and it's just a little flower dish or plate it was actually in the kitchen section so you could probably use it as a plate but I'm going to use it for decorative purposes a couple of bits that I did get for Easter from HomeSense first of all was this bunny really nice detailing with a little pom-pom tail that was £5.99. Love all this neutral at the minute. And then, of course, I got another little bunny. It's this gorgeous marble effect, but more of like the goldy marble. 
and that one was 7 99 and it's super heavy as well. And then I saw these gorgeous pastel shaded eggs. They're by Laura Ashley and there's 9 99 from Home Sense. So you get some gorgeous sage greens, a really nice duck egg blue. And then these are like pinky terracotta shades. So they will be super cute for Easter. Now, moving on to our living room. I'm still picking bits and pieces up for that because we are still in the process of decorating in there. So, first of all, the vase I was telling you from M&S is this gorgeous scalloped one. It was slightly expensive at £35, but it is massive. The only thing with this is the neck is quite slim, but I thought just with like a couple of like stems in there, that would look beautiful. So I was going to put that in my window in my bedroom, but it's quite wide, so it didn't look right. But I've got a lamp in the front room, which is pretty similar shape to this. So I might put it on one of the sideboards down there. So that's M&S for £35 for that one. Some really beautiful pieces in M&S at the minute. So in the front room, we are keeping it quite neutral, but I thought I'd add little pops of sage green just to add some colour. So I picked these little mockingbirds up from the range. Can't remember how much these ones were, but you get two really gorgeous colours actually. You get a sage green and an off-white colour when I can get them out. So the bigger one is a sage green and then the off-white is slightly smaller. But I thought styled on one of our shelves that we're going to be making in the front room. They'd look really cute and just adds that little bit of pop of colour. That's still quite subtle. Also from the range, sticking with a sage theme, I have got another vase. It's got this gorgeous leaf print design. Again, I can't remember how much this one was, but it I did buy it fairly recently. It's really gorgeous, actually. I might just have that on the shelf, but not put any stems in. Because again, the neck's quite thin. But just to add that pop of sage. And the last sage thing I brought was from Tesco. It's this gorgeous plant pot stand. That was £15. I love how it's got the scalloped edge all the way around. And again, the sage green colour. And I love how it's got wood because we've got accents of wood in there. And then... I just need to get a really nice plant now to put that in and then I think I'm going to put that on the floor. So that was from Tesco, £15. So I've only just started buying accessories for the front room so I don't really have much. But then I picked up this candle. It's like the sagey colour again. It was 9 99 from HomeSense. This one is called Purity Lab Healing and it smells divine. Inside it's got some crystals and it's called Healing Woods with Amethyst, Blue Aventurine, Rainbow Fluorite for emotional healing, clarity and cleansing. So I thought that is so cute. Again, from Home Sense, I picked up a couple of plant pots because I love my real plants. So I got first one I got was this one. It's got a gorgeous floral design all the way around. Love the colour, and that was only four pounds ninety nine. Again, Home Sense, another floral one. I really like this one because it's got the little tray, so when you water it, water doesn't come out the bottom got this beautiful floral design all the way around 
and this one was only 6 99 It is quite a lot bigger than this one. So I now need to go buy some plants for those once the front room's finished. I've also got another one of these ones from HomeSense that I brought for the bathroom and that's £2.49. Now I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with these yet but I got them from Matalan. They are storage jars but I've seen a lot of people taking the lid off and using it as a candle holder as like a white company dupe because they're a lot more affordable. It's got a gorgeous little scalloped edge again. I might actually <coughs> use one for a candle and the other I might put on my dressing table and put some like cotton pads in it because I thought they're really cute. And then I also picked this up from HomeSense. I think they're called cabbage bowls. It is in the kitchen section. It's three ninety nine, but I don't think I'm going to use that in the kitchen. It's made in Portugal. Very nice and cute. I might just use it as like a decorative bowl or for ornamental purposes. I have got another bowl. This one is from the range. Again, this is for my shelf styling in the front room. I think this was around £10 or maybe less. It's got really nice detailing inside. And then from HomeSense, I did pick this gorgeous blanket up. It's not quite the colours I'm going for in my living room. However, I love the patterning. And it is this one. It's got gorgeous flowers and dragonflies on. It is reversible, so on the other side it is this like, I'd say it's more grey. But it's more like a neutral grey and this side is like an off-white cream. And then the patterning's in like this silver, but it is quite subtle, so... I think I'd get away with that in the front room, but I couldn't resist that because I loved the design. And that one was £24.99. Again, you've got this gorgeous floral patterning with some little dragonflies. And that would be really nice and cosy for summer, not too thick like your face one. And then finally for the front room, which I'm just resting my camera on, I picked up this from the range, I think it was £10. It's just this wooden display tray. I thought on one of our little sideboards that would look really cute. Styled up with some little bits and pieces on. Really good quality actually for £10. And finally, I have got a couple of kitchen bits. We're not planning on doing the kitchen yet. But we are some point this year. So from Matalan, I picked up some tea coffee sugar jars. Really like these. They're like an off-white cream. Love the little wooden handle. And I really like the writing. So I've got tea and a coffee and also a sugar jar. And I think they was around £12 with some other really nice pieces in that like I want to get like a first aid box etc and then from home sense and I think TK Maxx I picked up this beautiful Laura Ashley range which I know has gone viral and a lot of people have got it and it is this beautiful print and say the Laura Ashley I know if you buy the dinner set on next, it's pretty pricey. And these were all half the RRP price. So I got two like cereal bowls. Love the little wavy edging and the detail on that outside. And that is beautiful print in there. And they were $4.99 each. And I got two of those just for me and David because the kids certainly aren't using these. 
I then picked up two of these bowls. They're kind of like pasta bowls, but you could use them for like salads or maybe soup or pastas, whatever. They were $5.99 each for those. Again, same design, beautiful floral print inside. And the RRP for those were $13.95. And then these are so adorable. Got two side plates. This time they have this stunning scalloped edge. Love a scalloped edge. Pretty similar. Again, $4.99. They're just little side plates. So perfect for a slice of yummy cake. And I also got two dinner plates as well. Again, same same print, $5.99. And then lastly, I just got this mug set. Oops. Mug set. They were $9.99 for two. RRP was $21.90. You are supposed to get a plain one and one of the printed ones. But for some reason, when I opened it, I actually got two of the floral print ones, which I'm not complaining about because I think it's gorgeous. They're not the biggest size, but I don't drink hot drinks. I just have a hot chocolate now and again. So that's the perfect size for me. So I've got two of those. So that is everything my haul so far. I do have a few bits that I've ordered from Neptune and the White Company for the front room and our bedroom. But they've not arrived yet so I may do a separate haul. Well, that is everything. I hope you've enjoyed watching. If you have then please give us a big thumbs up. Also if you haven't already then please consider subscribing. We'd love to have you part of our family here on YouTube. Hopefully it won't be too long before I film some more videos. I have got quite a few baby videos planned, but it's just having the time, like the weeks seem to be going by so quick and it's just going to be over with in a blink of an eye. So thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.